my house, I'm getting comfortable in that workflow. And even though it's technically more work for me, it actually helps me a whole heck of a lot not having to drive to Atlanta. Um, so I can plan and schedule things much, much easier. So I hope to have a minimum two day a week stream. Um, hopefully one being uh, stationary themed or at least the beginning stationary stream. Um, like we've done in the past for y'all, most of y'all have seen these before. We'll go like an hour, hour and a half do an unboxing and I've got easily that much to talk about today. Starting with this package here, like we'll, we'll get to it in a minute, but I don't know who this is from. It's from California. I don't know the person's name or the company name that this is. I'm not going to say it, which means this very well might not be a stationary item. It might be something my wife ordered for Christmas and the other ones, I at least know where they're from, you know, CW pencils, jet pens, um, and so, um, and James brand, like I know all that stuff. This one is an outlier. So we're going to open that one first cause it's bugging me and it may be nothing. We may just open it up and say, Oh, that's a Christmas present. <laughs> we'll pass on that, but it's, it's to me. So my home address, I'm guessing I'll know what this is when I open it up. It's, it's definitely not porn. Um, uh, it feels it feels like pens, but small ones. Maybe it's not pens. There's five of something. I'm totally drawing a bank a blank. Yeah, it, this totally could be some type of Christmas gift. Um, so if it wasn't in in my name, I wouldn't open it. Mm. I'm gonna turn down the heat real quick. I'm drinking coffee, and I'm in this contained room that just radiate so I'm gonna turn this down real quick because I'm already I'm already steaming sausages that's they could be frozen sausages all right should we do this I think we've been long enough um oh I put this here any of y'all that listen to the uh podcast this morning, even though I don't think it's out yet. Should be out any minute. That's what I fidget with. So I'll be writing it in this hand and I'll just be over here doing this. That's my fidget. That's the TI2 tech liner fidget toy. So we're going to throw that out there. So I've remembered my knife today. TJ, what's up? Wait, what? Do I need to go back to that? I remembered my knife today, but I forgot my pencil sharpener again. And I have a box from CW Pencils. Maybe it's got a sharpener, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna open this kind of off stream because I, oh, yeah, let me close that, knowing me. Morning, Jesse. TJ, thank you so much. All right, let me see what this is. <laughs> okay, I know exactly what this is, and yes, I ordered it, and y'all, y'all will enjoy this. This will be a good story. <laughs> oh my God! Y'all know what this is, obviously. <laughs> We're about to blaze it. In here. <laughs> okay, story time. Oh my God! So. We moved the knock shop um, to here, to my house. Not literally here, but at my house. <laughs> yeah, this is this turned into a way different stream than I planned on. <clears throat> so I needed to order some supplies. So there's two things that are very important um, when I'm inspecting cases. So we get cases, we inspect them all um, before they ship out. So. Yeah, I'm going to get to that uh, tiny batch because I thought the same thing. <clears throat> so our cases, which I don't have one, the, hey, Jacqueline, get back to work. Move the knock shop to Indiana. We'll work on that. Do you allow lighters to be shipped? Can we blaze it there? <laughs> so um, snips, 
the little sewing snips. They're like little mini scissors that can get in real fine threads and snip the ends off. And then you use lighters to, um, to seal off nylon um, binding threads, any cords, you just hit it with the flame real quick and it melts it. So that's it. Yeah. And making zipper pulls too. So you snip the ends of the zipper pulls, blaze them off. So I ordered a ream of copy paper, a 12 pack of snips and a five pack of lighters and the paper and the snips came and I asked my wife, I said, did you see a package of lighters? Um, cause I ordered them all at the same time that was supposed to come for my supplies. And, um, she's like, no, I hadn't seen them, but I'd been saving all these packages with my name on them. And this felt, these felt like pens in the package. So I just threw them in with the rest of the stuff. Well, now I know where my lighters are. So I wasn't sure. It's was like, can you actually ship these? Yeah. <laughs> Jacqueline can ship the ex extra, uh, extra dangerous stuff. So yeah, you can, I ordered these from Amazon. I didn't think I would be able to. And then I started wondering, well, did they not ship? Cause you're not supposed to ship them. And here they are. So that cracked me up. That pretty much made my day. Yeah. So this is how we seal off the ends of the knot cases. So when you're in a large manufacturing facility or a small one, in the case of the shop at knock, you get basically a, um, what's the term for it? It's this real dangerous piece of equipment. It's it's a square box. It's bas basically like a, a plasma cutter type of thing where you just tap the ends onto this basically rod of fire. Um, that's it's, it's electric, it's a little box. It looks super sketchy. It would burn your whole, whole house down if it caught anything. Uh, it would cut straight through your finger. So you take the ends of the snipped edges of the binding and that's how you seal off nylon. So lighters are for maintenance purposes for um, knot cases. Seals up nylon. So if you ever have a loose thread or a little bit of a frayed end on one of your cases, hit it with a lighter. Seals it right up. Oh my God, that was too funny. I did not expect that at all. <laughs> did not expect that at all. All right, yes, yeah, so we burned the randomly thready things. So there you have it. So that actually turned out better than any stationary item. Um, let's get Enzo out of the way. So we did the Kickstarter for, what was this, the short? Was this a pocket fountain pen? I don't even remember what I ordered. I should know it's, I know it shipped. Super tiny. So there's that. There's my knife. You can see how small it is. Um, I don't remember what I backed on half of these Kickstarters. I just do them. Um, Hot Rod of Fire. Good show title. So, this looks like the little Kaveco sport boxes. It's cute. But, like, people that I like, Sketch Tape. Thanks so much, bud. Um, sorry about Urban Meyer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother show. Um, yeah, so I pretty much just order the things from the people I know make good stuff. I'll just go ahead and support them. So, so okay, so it's a little faceted fountain pen. You think I got raw aluminum? I don't know. It looks black to me. So it's black. It's faceted. It is extra light. Wow, I bought a black nib. That's not like me. Maybe, maybe that's one thing I do on these. If, if it's not like me, I will order it. Okay, so that doesn't twist on. It's got, oh, I don't like that. It's got an O-ring to post. So, um, hmm. So, let me put this over here so it's, it's all black. Look, see, already lost one. Or maybe I just dumped it, dumped it out of the bag. Um, it's not technically a problem. I just don't like it as a design decision on a place that's going to be exposed when my pen is oh so it's double o-ringed damn there's no threads on this at all okay when i put this in my pocket i don't want the o-ring exposed here because like i've got jeans on today that's going to rub 
um, rub up against it. I don't know. We'll see. Like, the form factor is killer. Like, it's like a lily put. It's about that light. It's not loose when it's posted. I mean, it stays on pretty firm, but, you know, O-rings. I'm okay. I'm better with internal O-rings than external O-rings, if that makes sense. Um, I just think you're asking for trouble over here when I can just pull it right off, right? I mean, yeah, it's already gone now, so I can't post. See? So, like, it's okay. I, it's not my favorite design decision. If you see the O-rings, they blew it. I think that's fair. That's what I'm saying. Internal O-rings, um, I'm okay with. We'll see. Jury's out. I, I, I didn't get a, um, a prototype of this one, so this is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, and uh, and so usually they usually send me uh, some of their stuff early. I did not get this one early. I love it like this. Like that's a really nice pen. Let's see where that O-ring went. Guess we'll find it. We'll find it later. But yeah, there's your there's your O-ring problems. So, um, I'm sure I got an extra fine nib on here. Yeah, looks like a nib looks nice. Mm. I don't know. I'm. I want to like it more than I do like it. It's really nice. Jesse, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not going to ink this one up because I want to ink it up with something else. I'm interested to know how the black coated nibs do because I'm not really a coated nib person. Oh, there's another extra O-ring in here. So that's good. So even if I lost that one, I still have another backup, which is just another thing to keep track of if you want to throw away the packaging. Like this is pretty disposable uh, packaging. What's up, Tyler? Um, I don't want to keep up with extra parts. That's the other O-ring issue, right? I, I would prefer to throw this away, throw this away, but I have a spare O-ring now. Hedges, Jim Hedges, thanks for the sub. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Super cool. Y'all can spam your emotes in there. You sub, subs, we got the, uh, we got the Brad type emote and we're going to do the, uh, you know what, Methanius? I think I might like the brass one better. It'd have a little bit more weight to it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to end up liking it, I think. I just, I'm a little bit down on the O-ring thing. But it is what it is. Good job. It'll probably sell well. What do these go for? Does anyone know off the top of your head or off the Google machine real quick? Can you tell me what the, mine's aluminum, um, black aluminum. I should write something on the bottom of my coffee cup. <clears throat> oh, that's a good place. That's light. It's super light. I'm probably going to go with Kaveco over this, even no matter the price. All right. So let's uh, go to the next thing. <laughs> we have... Um, we have some nice band content in the uh, in the modification. We're not going to let that one through, but I'm going to enjoy it, and the moderator is going to enjoy it very much. And uh, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. All right. Next one. <laughs> um, 59. How much is the brass one? You still have the page up, Tony? I think. So the word I use a lot is compelled. Like, what would make me? No, no, no. We got a we got a fun one from Alexander. He can DM it to you. Brass is sixty nine. Okay, brass at sixty nine. I'm much better with than the aluminum at fifty nine. I will say that right now. I would never be compelled. Okay, thirty nine. I would pay thirty nine dollars for this pen. I wouldn't pay, recommend it at 59 over a Kaveco Sport, even like the plastic ones. I wouldn't recommend it over an AL Sport. The brass one at 69 is at least interesting. I'll, I'll go with that. All right. Um, how many of... I'm pretty sure. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I did too. I would, I, I don't know that I would have paid like full price for this. So, yeah. Um, many of you here are probably familiar with the James brand. Um, if you're not, they started off making a knife, a pocket knife. Um, I don't know how many years it's been. Several years ago. And, huh, who banned your message? It's auto modded. So we have auto mod for curse words uh, that start with F. <laughs> Even though it was a good joke, it was an appropriate joke, actually. So. James Brand started off uh, years ago, and they made a knife. And it was a knife that got a lot of hit or miss press. So it's the hipster knife brand, right? Made out of Portland. Um, I didn't order one. I don't have one of their knives. But I remember when they launched, the knife was... 200 and something dollars and it was okay um i liked some of the more traditional knives all the people like tony skull and Breen, um you know reviewed them they were kind of hesitant on it and it just seemed like bang for the buck listening to the knife knife folks that it wasn't worth it but for the hipster brand then the hipster style and branding of it it killed like it was everything like the perfect hipster knife like the branding the style and it looked good i'm not gonna lie i liked i loved how it looked i didn't need a 200 hundred dollar knife that i didn't love them so that's a long story of how the james brand started and over the years they've continued to grow they release more knife models i picked up one we'll uh we'll open this up in a minute that's a little little baby knife and um they have done different things over the years um different carry products and they just launched their first pen so i ordered one uh tg bay tgb ltd i don't know oh the james brand limited gotcha kidneys um for the, it's definitely harry's cousin from the branding um they didn't give me anything for this. I mean, I like I paid full price for this. I think I got 10% off for signing up for the mailing list or whatever. So the pen I think was about 80 bucks, and I uh, about 80. Yeah, I think about 80 because I bought the uh, white one, which was the special edition. So this says the James Brand Limited Collection, number 298 of 600. So um, this pen is called. How's this pen called? It's got a name like Bob or something. What's this name? God dang it. I pulled up Jet Pens beforehand. I should have pulled up the James brand. Benson, Benton. And I ordered the white one, which was the special edition one. Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N, like Arkansas, Benton. So the standard Benton that comes in stainless uh, is $60. And then they have a special edition white one that I don't know where it's at. Which, of course, I bought the special edition. <laughs> what do you mean an optional click, TJ? I'll have to look into that. All right, here. I should do this over here. So, <clears throat> again, I... Uh, Oh, so this was a package deal. So I got these notebooks. Um, field, note, field notes never hurt, right? So this set of notebooks just came with the pen um, and a sticker. And I think this set was like 80 bucks, something like that. I wish I could find the page for that. I'd link it in the, in the chat. But um, it was a different one. It's unlist it was listed differently from the regular pens. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, white and black. So it was $85 for the set. Ah, clip. That makes more sense. So is that the variant? Thank you, Michael. Love you. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're ready for a good Christmas. So yeah, I bought the Benton Limited set, which was $85. It gives you a white pen, three pack of field notes, um, sticker. So I, I hate that this sticker, uh, 
this sticker is terrible like I don't like this font on this what I don't like what they're trying to do with this sticker it doesn't make any sense TJB uh, I know he is stealth I mean that's his that's his mo he's a stealth kind of guy that's why I love him so much he's a stealthy mofo so let's see what we got here so yeah um, so my set matches 298 of 600 I guess that's important um, so the pin whose case is someone a lot of people use this case Mike what's up man do you do Mike do you have any of the James brand knives so this is a click pin uh, white finish it's got a lanyard clip on the end retractable nope yeah I just bought my first one because I wanted to buy the pin to see what it was all about um, it's okay it's like I'm not seeing the price point yet yeah it's a weird click so it's got a uh, you'll see yeah the chapter the chapter was the first one I think right um, and yeah it's always been so expensive the pen looks really cool so this is like this part is plastic and you'll see in a lot of the Kickstarter manufacturers they'll manufacture this out of metal or brass um, no big deal I mean as long as it doesn't break down we have the Schmidt P9 P900 refill yeah that's what's always kept me off of it Mike was the price point um, I think for $60 I think this is probably okay like they'll probably do pretty well with this um, does this screw back in okay sorry still figuring this guy out um, they at least did it right to where this lines up correctly uh, slide this stuff over here so box packaging oh this is a pin sleeve well that's kind of cool so that's another thing that comes with it and this is a little lanyard deal that goes in it I guess you'd like loop it through oh that's cool so how will we do this oh I guess we'd stick this through then pull it so we'll pop this through here we'll do that yeah okay I'm down with this I like that gives you the uh, the dangle I'm I like the dangle you know I like my Y studio with the with the loopy thing on it so it'll allow you to attach to things you know standard Schmidt oh we got some tip rattle here can y'all hear that if I'm real quiet it's probably too far away from the mic so it's a uh, So that's what you'll hear when you write. That always sucks. Um, there's ways around to fix that. It's something I might fidget with. The pin's very comfortable. I I like I like it. I I don't know that. Just like anything else, James, it's like uh, I'm not sure it's worth the price. So we'll see. Like they're close. Like I feel like it's pretty close. Yeah, we could do that, Jesse. <laughs> um, I could just get all my retractable pens. So, $60 price point seems okay. Like I paid for the extras. Um, I like the little the little pen cozy is is nice. Um, worth it probably recommended that's a different story recommended it's gonna be hard on that one I, I'm gonna give that some more time um, to see about the recommendation on it but um, I got some field notes I'll use all right let's get out I bought um, I still couldn't go for the big knife because I just don't I just don't want to spend that kind of money on that so I bought all of this stuff for like the cost of what the, one of the knives would be. So I bought, they do have a little, um, they have a little pocket, little teeny knife here. So here's my, my bench made. It's pretty small. Oh yeah. Let's just do the pin type B over and over. So this one's called the Elko. I'll get this out of the package so you can see it better. Ooh, what was that? Kimmy. Thanks so much, bud. I really appreciate that. Mm. 
packaging does not want to play. Play nice. All right, so it's called the Elko. Um, it's a cute little knife. So how much is this guy? Let's see here. Ellis Country Chapter Folsom Elko. So this one is still sixty bucks. This one's sixty bucks. I love the um, the format of this. Um, Brian, do you have one of the? Do you have a chapter? Do you have one of the big ones? can just rip this out of here. I'm just trying to see if there's actually a decent way to not do that. Oh, it was looped. Okay, so I got this little loop guy here. Just tie it into there. Um, this feels great. It has a um, kind of a rough um, edge there. Small little blade. Yeah, I can't bring myself to the price point on the chapter, but I like these little pocket knives I carry. Like this is about as big a knife as I carry, and then this this little guy, the Elko. Is that what I said it was? The Elko. Um, it comes in a bunch of neat, fun colors, and like open, it's as big as my regular knife. So we'll see how it holds up. It's built kind of rock solid. I like I like the. Uh, the tactile feel. Um, it's not slippy at all. Um, it's got a little keychain or some kind of other holder, however you want to do it. This is also a screwdriver bit here, flathead uh, screwdriver bit. So I think this will be useful. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But it's a it's a little dude. Yeah. It's uh it's pretty cool. And this comes in like a billion different colors. Wow, 275. I think they were like they were just over two when they launched, like two and a quarter. How much is it on the site? Must be yeah, 275. So yeah, I can if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna buy a, a Sabenza. That's why I've always never like bought. I'm not a huge knife person, but if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna spend that kind of money, I'm gonna get like something I really want. I'd rather I'd pay like 400 dollars and get one of those Chris Reeves knives. Um, cute though. I, I'm, I like this better than the pen so far. Um, it impresses me more just from the quality. So and here's like, I don't know if you don't really care to read on here, but it, this is a little packaging and it's got other stuff. It's got words, words in here to say something. Lifetime warranty. They believe. Keep it sharp. Yada, yada. Um, the other thing that they had when they launched um, the, oh God, you can't see those at all. I'll open one up in a second. When they launched the pen, they did two sets of field notes. They did the white ones for the limited edition pen, and then they did this as a standard set. So there were 600 sets of the white ones, and then this one, what do they call this one? Does it have a name? Just says the James brand, limited edition three pack. Um, numbered of 3,000. So let's use our little little dude here and uh, open them up. So these had some, uh, I bought these because they had some neat exteriors. You can see this is like a wood grain one. It's not actually wood grain like the shelter wood or cherry wood. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either, Mike. So these are designed like this it's really cameras having a real hard time focusing on them but you can see the field notes same color embossed this is not a wood cover it's just a wood printed cover it's not you know shelter wood or cherry um, something on paper what's up I never know if I do that on the right side I gotta get my next emote I'm definitely doing a hype train emote we'll get a little train with hype on the side that's the next emote so anyway I bought these because I like the colors. Green graph, green interiors. Got this neat little uh, middle page. Definitely different texture than the rest of them. But I like the style and color of these. <laughs> Kimmy, you know it now. You got it. So I thought these were 
uh, good design. So, yeah, so that's that. Hoppy pin style ink train emote. Choop, choop. <laughs> that's a, actually, I need that. I'll, that. I'll get that as a, a emote too. Get the little drifter, say bank those emotes. I'll probably play Destiny after this. I don't know if I'm going to play on stream. But we'll just have to see what kind of timing I got. Um, so yeah, that's the James brand stuff. This is my first experience with them. They are definitely the hipster carry brand. Hipster knives, hipster pens. Um, I like the hipster aesthetic. Sometimes it can be a little much, and sometimes you pay too much for it. They're on the edge of two hipster something on paper three months thank you so much i appreciate it that is awesome using that twitch prime if you got the twitch prime you can sub to me for free nothing to it so that's why i didn't jump on the the james brand bandwagon early just wasn't my price point for um for a knife but um this little guy i kind of like him it's a little expensive you can get like the swiss army pocket knife that i like <laughs> it it does like that's all i'm allowed to draw in here like if you if you open this and read it you can only draw flannel and beards i mean hello i had to buy it right i mean there was no doubt so and we'll work on the pen i'll do some more um playing around with the pen see if i can get that tip rattle solved it's a pretty easy problem to solve you just don't want to have to do that that's not ever something you want to have to do with a metal pen is make it not tip rattle so there you go james brand stuff put this away then we have uh cw pencils and jet pens to get to all right i'm gonna rip this out of here because i'm weird that way more ASMR. I could do. I could do rip paper ripping too. Everyone's like, please don't do that ever. Oh, Tony, trying to get sneaky now. All right, let's do CW. Need another swig. Need another coffee though. All right, CW. Whoa, I wasn't sure that's what you what you uh, what you said there at first. Tyler, settle down. Tyler, my parents moved away, bud. Eat pickles in the microphone. God, I can see that. That's scary. My parents moved away from Lake Lure, Tyler. They're now in South Carolina. I moved them this weekend. It was a long weekend. Or was it this weekend? Last one. Yeah, this weekend. This weekend. <laughs> All right. This is the Cabin Fever box. All right, extra cozy. All right, what is this? Okay, <laughs> I love the packaging, like these uh, crumpled up papers. There's some more. God, Somerville, Jackie, outside of Charleston. Yeah, you don't have to send me that, Sarah. By the way, I did get your other text. I was like, so Sarah, I get your text. Like, you send your text after I go to bed. And then I get your text when I wake up and I know you're asleep. So I was like, well, I'm not going to text her now because I know she's asleep. And then I just forget to reply. But I got your I got your text about the, uh, the Atlanta pen show. Atlanta pen show. Atlanta meetup. ITP meetup. All right, cabin fever box. Let's go in the, uh, the big envelope first. But yes, don't send me the video of the pickle eating. Jackie, I did, and it's not open yet, so I owe you an opening and a thank you. You will uh, you will get that from me. It's sitting front and center on my desk. I was like, I don't like to open my letters and mails and cards like in passing. Like I sit down and I want to read them. 100% got it. I have not opened it, so I will tell you that. Yeah, this is totally unintentional ASMR. I should have done hashtag ASMR on this. Can't you hashtag the Twitter stuff now? Ugh. What is in here? All right. Ooh, we got the new 2019 CW Pencils patch. I think I have all their patches so far. I don't have them on anything. 
So that's pretty cool. What's this? Sweet and spicy herbal tea. I'll be all about that. Stickers, honest to God. Oh, okay, they're scratch and sniff. I thought these were dental stickers, like teeth, like a little tooth guy you'd get at the dentist or something, like if you were a good patient. <laughs> get, the, get the stickers. So popcorn, scratch and stiff, not my favorite. I'm a fruity scratch and sniff person, not a real yeah, see, see, Sarah, like we're on the same page. I was just like, well, I know she won't get this. I'll just wait. So this will go to the kids because I don't want to smell popcorn, scratch and sniff. That does not, that does not get me uh, going uh, one, but they're cute stickers. Kids will enjoy them. I love the cards that they send. Um, so who did this one? Jade Lowe. This is the Cabin Fever. Oh, look, it's all houses of pencils and erasers and sharpeners. That's pretty dope. I will color that. <laughs> look at the popcorn emote. That's awesome. So, yeah, I love their postcards. I color them and then don't send them because that's me. That's I, I got to stay on brand. Jackie, don't think you're getting a letter back. <laughs> I got to stay on brand. No letters for anyone. Except that kid who sent me a letter on the Pen Attic podcast. Who I said I'd write a letter. Nope. Poor kid. <laughs> Still waiting a letter. Waiting to write a letter. Stay on Brad. That's right. Oh, look. The uh, paper clips like a pencil looking thing. That's cool. Sorry. I got to keep drinking the coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I missed out the vending machine. All right. I don't know what this is. It's a puzzle of some kind. Analog holiday fun. Holy crap, there's lots of things. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm all about this. This is going to be awesome. Oh, there's the answers. I don't want to see the answers yet. Stuck inside a lot of pencils. So this is a word search. And is this like Mad Libs? Well, I'm not going to read the paper on the uh, on the stream. Do you want me to sit here and read all this? I was like, I think you'd rather hear me like crumple paper and click pens than read, read you this. Uh, ah, the holidays. The first words that come to mind are joy, celebration, and togetherness. But where in the thick of them, other words seem to take control, overwhelming, demanding, and interminable. It's like, I'm not going to, like, that's awesome. So, it sounds super great. I'm going to love this. Um, this is already the highlight of the box for me. I like so let's have a conversation. I like games and puzzles that I can play by myself because I don't want to deal with any other people. <laughs> Is that wrong? So give me your puzzles, your crosswords and your Sudokus and your word finders and all that stuff. As long as I don't have to play with you or my family, more importantly, we're good. Although I do play Takeda with the kids because they actually can uh, handle that game. It's very good. All right, let's get to the pencils. Oh Jesus! See, you can't get you can't get anything done here. I'm gonna unmod Tony. Oh, there's a uh, Twitch thing now where I can do VIP status. Let me see how to do it. All right, let me look at something real quick before we go. We're gonna get to the pencils in just a minute, but there's a uh, a very dowdy Christmas. <laughs> um, there's a way. Yeah, look at all y'all. See, this is why we're pen people. This is why all the pen people get along. Because if there's a crowd of us at a pen show and one of us goes, I just can't right now. I'm going to go upstairs and chill. Everyone goes, gotcha. We're right there. I hear you. We're just all, it's a super introverted group that takes a lot of energy to hang out with other people. It's very tough. So I'm proud of all y'all. So yeah, all right, so there's a thing where I can do VIP for someone. So I don't know why Twitch did this, but they made it so, hmm. Yeah, I don't see a button. So I'll have to go read, maybe that's not active yet, but I think it's active. There's a way, I'm, I'm going on all my mod stuff now. 
I watched the first season and a half, and then I just forgot to catch up. I very much like Orange is the New Black, and I got sent, you might have even sent me the uh, all the Blackwing talk of the, the new season. One of the prison guards is into pencils and Blackwings. But I love that show. That's a really great show. But I, st I stopped after like a year and a half and just haven't picked it up. All right, so someone, if you get bored of me talking, go find out on Twitch how I assign someone a VIP. Because there's a setting, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. Maybe I have to go on Twitch directly to do it. Okay, Tony's gonna... Streamers on... Uh... 50 followers on five unique chatters. Okay, so we have that. All right, y'all want me to do this now? Yeah, Sarah, you're 100% correct. All right, I'm gonna do this because I have all this. The champagne room. <laughs> well, Grant Bob, it's not too hard because I already have all that stuff. So let me um, go into my settings over here. Settings over here. Yeah, you hear me talk to myself, that's cool. That was awful. <laughs> um, introducing VIPs. But uh, Twitch, yeah, this is a Twitch setting stream. Twitch, uh, oh, VIPs get this fancy diamond. Yeah, echo, echo, echo. So, yeah, I'll just have to do this after. But... I should be. Uh, Isn't this fun? This is what you came here for, right? To watch me click Twitch's settings, and they're super impossible settings. Super impossible. So add new. Uh, this is lame. All right, we'll deal with this later. Dashboard rolls. All right, I'm not going to deal with this now. But I just want to go click people and do do things. VIP. All right, we'll deal with that later. All right, back to unboxing. Oh, I'm playing All right, hopefully most of these are, sh are sharpened. Moobot, I'll have to try that. It's probably, is this in slobs to add VIPs? I would like it to be in slobs too. All right. This sticker that they put on their pencil packages, they uh, they come off easily and stick to other things real easily. I put these on like my laptop and stuff because I like stickers. So we'll save that right there. All right, what is this? Uh, oh, just type. <laughs> Can you just do uh, with the, do it with commands? I really wanted to know what this is. So this is like a um, a street sweeper. So it looks like it's a pen pencil. Um, grip holder I should get my description thing out but what it is is a street sweeper so you put it on your pencil Ooh, it's kind of tough oh wow they gave us pine wood ones these are expensive I shouldn't put this on here isn't that fancy that's pretty dope but it's a, it's a street sweeper all right that's kind of awesome um I just picked this up. I can't believe they gave us, uh, got us a pine uh, one. I'm assuming that's what that is, a CW Pencil branded pine. All right, so what's my street super called? Cushy Squishy Pencil Grip. Maybe this pencil grip has a ridiculous name and looks crazy on a pencil bowl, but it's so freaking comfortable like a shag carpet for your fingers. It's also stretchy, so you can use it on pencils of any diameter. That's pretty dope. I like it. <clears throat> Okay, I use um, Streamlabs chatbot, so I'll uh, I'll see if I can. Uh, there's probably some VIP thing in it over here. It's on this other page. <clears throat> we'll just dink around with it and see. All right, but yeah, I have one of these uh, pine pencils, and that's like a. It came in this really expensive set of two pencils for like twenty dollars, and it came with a sharpener, and I only bought them because they were half off. So yeah, this is the Karandash Scott's Pine Pencil. Um, it's the newest of the Swiss wood pencils out of Scott's Pine, native to Switzerland. Has a core that's firm and smooth. Bonus, it has our name on it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go look at my Pine Pencil and see if it's the exact same one. 
I think it is. But I'll have to see. For some reason, this one seems a little bit more yellow, but that just could, could just be the wood variants, and it could be the very same pencil. Yeah, Tony, you know what set I'm talking about, right? <laughs> All right, so that's that. What is this thing? This is... Okay, so this pencil needs the squishy thing because it's not very comfortable. Look at that. It's like a starfish pencil. Uh, so what is this one? Is this the snowflake pencil? Oh, so you got a sharp, it's one where you sharpen it and the uh, pencil shavings are like in a snowflake shape. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'll have to see, so it's, is it silver? Ah, oh, this is really uncomfortable to write with. <laughs> All right, so we know which ones the kids are getting. <clears throat> yeah, but when you sh when you sharpen it, shouldn't the, shouldn't the uh, shavings come out like pretty cool? I mean, I know it's in a, a snowflake shape, but yeah. All right, so that's that. That's this one. Pine, pine. This is a foil stamped pencil. Oh, it's scented. <laughs> I just looked up at myself. I shouldn't have done that. Um, so yeah, I need to sharpen this one probably to get the good scent. I mean, it smells like a pencil, right? All pencils have a smell. I'm not going to stick it up my nose. I mean, this is a pine pencil too. I'll sharpen it and we'll see. Oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> we got to light it. No, I'm not going to do that, but that would be that would be a good way to test. Yeah. I mean, what's it going to smell like, pine saw? I mean, pencils already smell great. They don't need fake smells. Oh, bridge pencil. I've always wanted one of these. I didn't buy one of these when I was out there. Is that what this is? I'm guessing. Yeah, CWP bridge pencil. Um, so they're tiny, tiny diameter for game scoring. I'm assuming these can sharpen in your regular sharpeners. I guess I'd just be careful with it. I'm not going too crazy. All right, this looks fancy. I like this. <laughs> Sorry. I got some more tea if you need it. I got sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy tea. Yeah, they did They did go overboard on like all the accessories type of stuff. Brianzio. Brianzio. Kimmy, where are you? What do we have here, Kimmy? It's from Holland. <laughs> so this is high grade. It's a 1B. Brionzel Holland. So let's read about it till Kimmy chimes in and tells me how much he hated these uh, when he was in, in elementary school. Is this on here? This is, this pencil isn't on here. Scratch the patch. Snowflake pencil, pine pencil, pine scented pencil, Viarco, which we're getting to. Kimmy, you had these in school? Are they any good? CWP bridge pencil, squishy pencil grip, scratch and sniff Snickers, patch, sweet and spicy tea, activity pack. Yeah, I got nothing on this one. And this is the most interesting one to me so far. Um, I love that font. Brianzeal. Um, yeah, so is that, I guess, is that the uh, manufacturer name, I'm guessing, because I don't see any other name branding on here, but I don't know, it looks good. Uh, dipped uh, in pen, I don't mind it. It reminds me of the Koenor pencils, so yeah, very cool. Oh, I wonder if it's on that last card. I gotcha. That makes sense, that didn't come last time. Then finally, the uh, Viarco they work great. Well, they look, I hope it's as good as it, is it, I hope it works as good as it works. This is the Viarco uh, Vintage Stamps pencil. So that's just cool. Uh, it's like the Retro 51 Stamps pen. I, I don't know. This is just cool. I like this type of pencil. I like this type of gimmicky pencil, if you will, more so than uh, Smelly Pine. Like, I don't want it to smell like a clean bathroom, you know. I want it to smell like a pencil. Viarco smells better. I'm going to sit here and snort pencils all day. So apparently that's what I'm doing. All right. Great job, CW. 
with this box. It's mostly a colored pencil company. That's interesting. So great job with the box. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I'm still going to call it pine cleaner. There's no way I'm getting all this stuff back in here. So we'll just stash it up like this. Then we got the big box. So we've been going almost an hour here and I'm not even to the big box yet. So who knows what's in this thing. I'm trying to think of what I can. Well, um, at CW, we smelled the wood shavings cologne and perfume. I guess it was a perfume, not a cologne. Um, not bad. Like it was, uh, it was interesting. Um, I don't know if they have that up on the site yet or if they were going to put it up on the site. I know they were talking about it still at the time we were there, but they had the samples out and, uh, I mean, it was okay. Yeah. Number two pencil shavings in the bathroom. I see what you did there, Tony. All right. Get in there. All right. Very cool. Let's see what we can do here with this. All right. That's what I got from Jet Pens. It's like, I don't know, it's the big box. I guess I don't have to stick it under the little camera. I forget I have two cameras sometimes. Oh, sweet, I spilled my coffee on it, so that's a feature. Yeah, there's coffee in the bottom of my bag. That's cool. It is an absolute unit of a box. Although, I will admit, I've had bigger boxes from Jet Pens. But, uh, I don't know, that's what you get when you get... Uh, ink and stuff like that you get all these big boxes i don't know what i got here all right i'm trying to think back to when i put in my request for these products pencils of the world matte kit let's see i think i saw this this morning when i was messing around no i did not that is pretty cool i am all about that that would have made our gift guide if i would have seen that this morning so when I put in my request for this, oh, so the perfume is there, cool. It's been like two weeks or so, so I can't remember what I got. I mean, that's always what it is. I can't remember what I got, but I'm trying to even come up with. Uh, so $50 for like a teeny vial. I mean, yeah, I guess perfume is expensive. Um, I'm trying to come up with one thing that I know that I requested in this box and I can't come up with a darn thing. Let me think about it for a second. What am I expecting here? Hmm. No, pencil lead came after I ordered that separately. Um, so uh, this is the stuff I order off of new releases. So I would have to go back. So let's just dig in. First thing I see up here is a pencil case. So this is the Shell Bro. Um, I thought these looked pretty cute and functional from Jet Pens. They, uh, who makes these? Kokugo, which makes wonderful pen cases. Very lightweight, thin fabric. I got the gray and pink model because that's a good look. Can see some gray and pink in the in the Notco future. So it's just made to be open storage so it'll lay flat like this right and you can have your open storage you can have all, all your colored pencils and pens down here small accessories up here um i think it's pretty inexpensive like in the 14 dollar range we'll look it up spying on competitors cases all the time talent borrows genius steals right <laughs> is that how it goes did i say that right i don't even know all right, where are you, bro? What is this shell, bro? I'll give you a price here. Just because it's not expensive, that's why I got it. Or maybe it's not up yet. I thought I saw it on here, though. Yeah, that thing. 16 bucks. Yep, that's it. Do you even shell, bro? So, I mean, cute and functional. I mean, it's padded a little bit, 
so it's not just um, you know thin nylon walls it's padded all the way around even the side walls are padded that's a good thing um, this is a really good case like if you want like bulk storage I'm into this I like it good job Kokuyo does Kokuyo ever do a bad job I don't think so so you do have to tuck in the edges when you zip it but that's okay all right what's next here we're going in blind that's the only one I could see all right I got a Twisby of something I got a eco T of some color what color did I get what's the newest color out I'm sure that's what I got it's a green box does that mean it's a green pen I do know that it's a 1.1 nib does it fit a full-length pencil we'll find out what is with all the stickers eco T and clear is that what I got is that the latest one out yay clears the winner thanks oh three months e klimke that i can never say <laughs> thank you so much three months subbing i appreciate it yeah i mean i'm gonna tell you all this now and it's not anything you don't already know but next year i'm going just all in on the eco as oh owl link design oh we're talking about oh shh I can't talk about jet pens anymore. Um, certain owl ink is here. Um, so next year, if I haven't already done so already, I'm going all in on the Twisby Eco as the best beginner pen, even though it takes uh, uh, ink. <laughs> good, good. Um, even though it's a piston filler. So I just think that much of this pen. I, what's the right answer, Tony? What's, wh where are you going? Like for best, best, um, best beginner pen, I don't know that it's gonna be the Metropolitan if the Metropolitan ends up being like 25-ish. So what's 20% off 30? Yeah, it'll be like 25, 26. I have no idea what I got auto modded. That was. That was dumb. But uh, I mean, what are what are your options here? Lamy Safari. Um, I'd love to recommend the Kakuno, but I think that's going to be too childish for some people, even though they have some the the dark colors. It's Lamy Safari Pilot Metropolitan. Oh, you just have an irrational dislike of the Eco. Yeah, I mean that sounds right. So if MSRP is like twenty eight, um, so they'll take like twenty or thirty percent off. So that's I mean, if you're gonna spend that, I, I'm getting this pen every time, even though you have to buy ink for this. I understand that the Metropolitan's easier, but when the Metropolitan price point was 15 to $18, that was a great deal. Um, they've obviously discovered the errors of their ways. So, there you go. Love this pen. I'm all in on the Eco. Eco hype, that's right. All right, let's try the pencil in the uh, in the Shellbro case. I'm guessing it will. So we'll just keep this package in. I love. I think the Safari is awesome. I just think that molded grip is a con extra consideration. Like the ink is an extra consideration for the Eco. You know, I'm Team Safari all the way. <clears throat> so, I mean, Safari was all, Safari was my first. Safari was number one on that list until the Metropolitan came. So, I mean, that tells you what I think about the Safari. It's really good. Why are these things getting modded? I'm waiting for my broad go. <laughs> they must think we're saying some funny stuff. All right, so this is a pretty, pretty traditional. This is just standard, like, Musgrave length. Um... It fits touching end to end. So like it's all the way into the edges. Um, you can't really angle it because the case has curvature. So yeah, 
you're darn right the go is sweet. So full unsharpened pencils are gonna have a tough time here. It's right on the edge. It'll fit, absolutely. Like I could probably put all of these in here and it'll close. It's just not super comfortable. Like you gotta fidget them in there, but it will work. And this, um, this case has the extra space to allow for that. So are you gonna get this thing packed to the gills with full length pencils? I don't think so, but you can get a lot in here without it being an issue. I think this is a really neat case for bulk storage options. I, I'm really digging it so far. It's well made and it's a good price point. And it's by Kakuya, they always make good stuff. <clears throat> so, good job. We'll actually just store those right in there for later. All right, back to the Twisby Go. I am open to suggestions for the best beginner's fountain pen. And I don't think there's one answer. Um, you know, there's going to be, I mean, some people aren't going to want to mess with an ink bottle. Then I'm not going to recommend the Eco. I just think it's so much better. The preppy is awesome. Like, that's a whole different level of beginner fountain pen. Um, I'm, I don't know where to put the preppy. It's almost like its own category, like, or in there with other disposable fountain pens. Even though it's not disposable, I know it takes cartridges. I know, I know it takes cartridges. Um, and it's awesome. Like, it writes really crazy good. So, I just don't feel like that's the experience that someone's going for. Like, that's the tester fountain pen, I think, the preppy. And I think that's different from a beginner fountain pen. I think the expectation is different. So, see you, Kimmy. Thanks. All right, what's next? Ha! Ah. All right, this is cool. Uh, jet pens did their own Retro 51. How nice is that? The California Republic. Um, I'm not going to open this yet because I got to decide am I going to use it? Am I going to give it away? It's going to be one of those two things. This one's going to be hard not to use. If you look at the pictures on the site, they're super cool. Um, I like what they did here with this one. It's perfect. Uh, I imagine that's going to do very well for them. So that's that. Number 163. So very cool. Platinum Balance. Cool. Yeah. Those are really good. Plays here. Those might be a better choice than the Preppy. And I should go that route because... I love platinum so much. They're very high quality. They have those weird price points where the same pen is a different price in different parts of the world. It's called something different. That's not a negative in like me recommending it, but it's just a, another one of those oddities. And I would pick the cool or the balance over the Plaisir. Um, the Plazier's aluminum barrel is super thin, and I think it's kind of like the AL Star. Like, it's really pretty. The anodization looks awesome, um, but it's going to get dinged like crazy, even more than the AL Star or All Star. It's Mike going to yell at me because I don't know which, I don't know what it really is called, but Mike will yell at me if I say it wrong. So I'll just say both of them and see if I can summon him. He may be gone. <laughs> All right. What else we got in here? All right. This is cool. So y'all know I like my washi tapes. These are the AL Star. <laughs> like y'all can say it. I still don't know what to believe. I don't know what it is. Um, so these are writable uh, washi tapes. Let's test it out real quick. And you know, if a washi tape comes in a grid pattern, you know I have to have it. That's pretty dope. Let's see how it works. Man, that tore off really nicely. So does it, is there any limitations? Um, for use with water-based ink, also ink may need to dry before handling for short-term use only, not intended for long-term storage. Keep away from small children. Do not give to Tony. Okay, good. So I have, what are my pens here? So this is what I have at my desk. We have <laughs> everything sticking to the thing, Copic. Multi-liner. And we have, oh, look at that. These magnets are legit. 
sorry, that was loud. These magnets, y'all can see why I why I play with them so much. This is a Uniball Signo. I bet this uh, Schmidt refill is going to be terrible on here. And this is a Richard 51 P8127. It it takes the ink really well. It doesn't. There's no uh, no issue with it taking the ink here. I know that's a lot of lines that the camera can't pick up. So I think the main consideration here is dry time, right? So I think it's probably gonna go in this order. I think the Copic Multiliner probably should be okay. Signo in the middle, then the, oh, look at that. They did pretty good. The retro just a little bit. That's shock, shockingly good. Yeah, so the retro smears a little bit, which is what I would think. It's the wettest. The Copic and the Uniball gel, really no issue. That is impressive. Who makes this? Maste. I'm not familiar with them. Oh, so this is Marks. Marks Inc. So Marks that makes the... Uh, that is, I, I'm going to say, Sarah, even the Retro 51, which I thought would be god-awful, is only awful which means the other pens were great. Like almost the, the only thing that's on them is the retro uh, bleed from it. Really kind of impressive. So I will be reviewing this soon because these are the kind of things that catch my eye now that do something unexpected. It's like you can write on any washi tape you have, grab a Sharpie, write it. But if you're telling me I can write with other stuff pretty easily on here and not make a mess of the label when I'm done, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm I'm surprised. Color me surprised. All right, what's next? We got a lot in this box. Highlighters. What's so special about these? This is the Mogini line. Uh, this is non-smear highlighters. So they should. I need to get my other pins back out but I should be able to write with my pens and highlight over them and not have it smear. So let's give it a try. I, I, I tend to use the, the gel inks for these tests because um, that's kind of the most common pen. Can you all even see this? I know you can't really see what I'm writing. So let's say Uniball Signo 307. And then we're going to put that down. It should be every highlighter, but it's really not. Whoa, it's got a weird shape. So look at that. So mm -hmm. that's about as fast as you can highlight. And it didn't even touch my ink. I know you can't see this really well. It didn't. There's not one dash of ink that's out of place. Zero smear. Now that's got a smear like crazy, right? The retro. Yeah. The retro. Let's try that. So retro. There's no way this is gonna work, right? So right, put it down, highlighter. It worked. <laughs> if I have to look at it that close, I I can't get this in here. Would it work better if I did it up here? Look at that, it worked. <laughs> like if I'm looking at that, if I have to look at it that close to see if there's a streak of black in the highlighter, it worked. Yeah, that's the Mark's writable washi tape, the last one. I mean, that legitimately worked. There you go. I can get the focus just right. One of these days, I'm going to bring that blank pad, guys. Look at that. You can't tell me that's uh, that's right on the money. And there's the uh, masking tape now that I have the focus in. That's crazy. There's no way that should work. I just shouldn't. So does anyone want to explain that to me? It legit works. 
Hmm. I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm very, very... That's something that shouldn't work. <laughs> Fun with solvents, yeah. But it's still wet. I mean, if I would have ran my finger over that, it would have smeared it. The retro. As a matter of fact, let's do that. That highlighter wouldn't have touched it. So we'll do the same timing. Even though I know my, my finger has different materials and it's hot and so right, put the pen down. I'll even wipe off my finger. Okay, it didn't really smear there either, so yeah. That's impressive. What else can I say? That's pretty darn impressive. So that's two surprises in a row. Writable washi tape and non-smearable highlighters. That's pretty dope. All right, what else is gonna surprise us here? We're gonna have a failure yet, I feel it. What is this? Cover note. So this is a big boy Moramon um, notebook. B5, super weird size. Bigger than A5 by a pretty good margin. So this is like your office, uh, OG office, you know, with your, your gold corners here. Um, I think that's probably why I ordered it, just because it's big and weird. Like, it's not, B5 is comp book size, it still looks taller. It's a really good size, it's just not very normal. So, Mormon paper, lined, like, uh, the cover's really nice, like, I could see this being useful for someone, like, I wouldn't use this, I wouldn't have a need for this, especially with the uh, lined, but, um, you know, I'm going to send this to one of the reviewers, Jeff or Sarah or Susan, and they'll put it to the test. Um, I imagine it will do extremely well because it is Mormon. So here's the sort of dimensions, I guess. But yeah, this is your nice fancy office style notebook. All right, what's next, what's next? I don't like that either, Dax. Number one, I don't like lines. But if I'm gonna use lines, they need to go all the way to the edge. That drives me crazy. That comp book that was on Kickstarter, that was actually called Comp Book, was a terrible example of that. All right, this is awesome. Is this Marks also, or is it Deldy? That's a terrible name. Deldy, Deld, uh, Sunstar makes them. Okay, so that's better. This is the Sunstar Deldy um, corduroy. This is kind of like a, I don't know, plasticky, waxy, canvasy material, but corduroy. That's why we got it, and it's a, it's a stand up uh, pin case. And what you do with these, so that's what it looks like. It's not. It's kind of feels like it though, but it's it's got a weird texture. But it feels good. It feels like it's wax can wax canvas, but it's not. It's like fake, fake wax canvas. Um. So this is a stand up pen case which are great so you have the storage to put all the things in and then you take it like when you get to wherever you're going and you can just roll it down I should make a Sinclair out of it so you just take it and like you can have like a it's a portable pen cup if you will so then you have it like that Makes sense. It's a really great design. I love these stand-up uh, designs. The Kakuyo Neo Crits is one of the first pen cases I ever owned. Oh, with the faux fur. <laughs> I'll pass on that. I'll, I'll stick with the corduroy. But uh, that's neat, and it works really well. And I don't think these are all that expensive. I think they're around 20 bucks or so. I don't know. I'd have to look. But um, it's just a neat concept, well executed, great materials. Very, very big fan of the corduroy. Um, I sent the last one of these I got to Sarah. It was a different material. I think it was a dot. It was like a pattern. It was like dots or something. Um, I might have to keep this one for myself. That's kind of fancy. Fancy corduroy guy. All right. I'm going to put this trash back in here. Or the, the innards back in here before I get, get everything too messed up. Whoa. So let me see how much these are. Because I think they're pretty reasonable. 
Y'all are always faster than me. Y'all probably already got it pulled up. 1750, right? Or are they cheaper? Is this one not out yet? Let's see. Nope, there it is. 1650 for this one. So, very cool. I think that's kind of like a, a no-brainer pencil purchase. Uh, oh, I see the fur ones. Those are actually kind of cute. They look like uh, Ugg boots. <laughs> They're pretty funny. Here's the link. Whoa, that was terrible link. That's what I get for doing a search and then clicking the link. Sorry about that. B5 on top of a comp book. Let's see. I want to see this picture. So which which comp book is it? Is it just like a, the one of the traditional, like you just get at the office supply store size comp books? Sorry about that link, guys, but but that's the Ugg boot uh, pen case. Generic Staples comp book. Okay. So just a little bit bigger, B5. Uh, on the height, but I can see it right off the edge. Cool. Okay. I didn't think it was that large, but yeah, it looks good. I like it. That's a good size. All right. What's next here? All right. We have uh, shrink wrapped um, paper notebooks full of goodness. So let's, we're going to unwrap this. All right. So get your ASMRs ready. This has to be like shrink wrap on ASMR channel. It's got to be pretty. Pretty good money, right? Pretty good money in that. I'm not even going to go that far. I'm just going to cut it. Yeah, I think uh, the next time I do this, we'll just have to... I'll see if I can remember to call it Unintentional ASMR. I think that's a great name. Great show title. Trashola. All right, let's go through this stack, see what we got. All right, these are TAC memos. So, um, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, maybe before you got on, I need to tag it ASMR when I get a chance. Um, these are Kokuyo post-its, and we're just going to test them out. We'll see. I don't know what's special about these, other than they might be good paper and good stickiness. So something to test. This is a little Kokuyo soft ring, uh, 80 page little mini notebook, lines and uh, dot spacing. The last soft ring um, notebook that Sarah reviewed, she loved it. She thought it was really, really nice. So we'll try, I'll try out uh, this one in the orange cover. Gotta go with the orange cover. What is this? This is like a this is a pocket protector. I ordered a pocket protector. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna, let's open this up. So this is literally like looks like a pocket protector. Uh, who's this by? Point Corporation pen holder. Yeah, I've never heard of them as a brand. Nerd says the person watching a pen stream on the Twitch bot. This is legitimately a pocket protector. What is happening? It's like plastic. It's like the fake plastic. This isn't even like canvas or something. This is literally, okay. We gotta see how much this is. We gotta see how much this is. <laughs> this is the point pen holder. <laughs> I hope it's up. <laughs> this is like vinyl. 